And make no mistake, this was an event of major gastronomic proportions. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 events you forgot happened in the 90s. The discussions actually began uh, because there were some uh, patent disputes. Europeans have turned a vision into reality. I'm sitting there with tears running down my face looking at this stuff. For this list, we're looking at significant happenings from the 1990s that the average individual either forgot about or may have missed. If you were around in the 90s, what's your most prominent memory? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Microsoft Buys Hotmail Did you know that the first email to use the common name at place format was sent in 1971? Given how much email has become a part of the world, it's hard to fathom that it's 50 years old now. In the early years of the internet, email was relegated to universities and scientific communities. Eventually, as more people went online, their internet provider would give them an email address. That is, until Hotmail came along. Considered one of the first web-based email sites, Hotmail was eventually acquired by Microsoft in 1997 and quickly became the world's largest webmail provider with around 30 million subscribers by 1999. Just go to www.hotmail.com, get your free address, and you're automatically entered. Hotmail is accessible anywhere, so whether you're at home, work, or somewhere else, check your Hotmail whenever you want. Number 9. Microsoft Saved Apple Ever since the launch of the personal computer back in the 1980s, there has been a heavy rivalry between the likes of Microsoft and Apple. Apple even once tried to sue Microsoft for copying the look and feel of their operating system. However, the court said Apple's copyrights were covered by the existing agreement. Apple appealed several times, but the court denied their petitions. However, unlike Microsoft, Apple had big struggles in the 1990s and almost went bankrupt. But on August 6, 1997, an unbelievable moment in tech history took place that both companies would never forget. And I'd like to uh, announce one of our first partnerships today, a very, very meaningful one, and that is one with Microsoft. An unlikely partnership between the two rivals was born. Among the details were a $150 million investment from Microsoft, which would be used to help bring Apple out of its financial woes. That was, it was just crazy what was happening at that time, and Apple was very weak, and uh, so I called Bill up and we tried to patch things up. A year later, Apple launched the iMac and never looked back. Number 8. The First Russian McDonald's With over 38,000 locations across 119 countries, McDonald's is a symbol of worldwide expansion. One of the most memorable extensions of the brand was the opening of a new location in Moscow, Russia. It hasn't been easy. It took McDonald's 14 years to negotiate this deal, and they had to teach Russian farmers how to raise leaner cows and grow bigger potatoes. It was an idea that was first conceived during the 1976 Summer Olympics in Montreal when Canadian McDonald's CEO George Kohan met some Soviet Union officials and took them there to eat. It took almost a quarter of a century to materialize, but a restaurant finally opened on January 31, 1990 in Moscow. Patrons were lined up around Pushkinskaya Square waiting to get in, while those inside could pay 375 in rubles for a Big Mac. They started lining up this morning at 4 o'clock. Happiness today in Moscow lay in the communal pursuit of a Big Mac. It was a huge celebration and an indicator that change was on the horizon for the nation. McDonald's, food, folks, and fun. Number 7. The Launch of the MP3 Have you ever heard the song Tom's Diner by Suzanne Vega? <laughs> Either way, you will never think of it the same way after this. It was that song used by scientist Karl-Heinz Brandenburg to build the algorithm behind the MP3 audio file due to its clarity and Vega's voice. I'm definitely proud of it and uh, I still sometimes feel like in a dream, can this really be true? Now we see MP3 everywhere. Introduced in 1995, this new digital format allowed songs to be compressed by as much as 12 times their original size. This triggered a tsunami-sized change in the way consumers would acquire music. People immediately began ripping their CDs to MP3 files and sharing them through online apps like Napster. It was on college campuses with high-speed internet that Napster really took off in the fall of 99. So uh, how many MP3s do you have on your computer? 
about 600. Maybe like 100 or something? Uh, six or 7,000. Eventually, more legal means were developed to acquire digital music, and the likes of iTunes and Spotify were born. Number six, the Northridge earthquake. On January 17, 1994, the San Fernando Valley was struck by an earthquake registering at around 6.7 in magnitude. Four interstates, including California's major north-south freeway, are closed at several points. Three state highways are blocked. Cars are crushed beneath slabs of concrete. Rescuers have worked all day searching for survivors. It resulted in more than $20 billion in damage and saw roughly 90,000 buildings of various types either destroyed outright or severely battered. Even an unexpected outbreak of the Valley Fever hit the area as a result of the quake. Very dangerous place to be. California has is, is, is really gotten dangerous in more ways than one. Oddly enough, exactly one year later, another earthquake hit on the same day but across the globe in Kobe, Japan. Registering at a 6.9 magnitude, the quake damaged upwards of 400,000 buildings. The Kobe disaster forced the Japanese to reappraise just how earthquake-proof their cities really are. They can't change their earthquake-prone country, but the lessons learned from Kobe will save thousands of lives when another major earthquake strikes. Number 5. France Nuclear Ping Pong as far back as 1960, France had been conducting nuclear weapons experiments and testing in both the Algerian Sahara Desert as well as in French Polynesia. France carried out more than 200 nuclear tests, most of them in the South Pacific. These tests went on for several decades despite massive international protests. Eventually, the country opted to suspend their testing in 1992. Researchers along with the French news site Disclose, used declassified military documents and testimonies to recreate the impact of a number of the tests, calculating around 110,000 people in the overseas territory, including in Tahiti, were contaminated, almost the entire population. However, in 1995, France elected a new president, Jacques Chirac. He resumed nuclear testing and more experiments were conducted before the country finally put a permanent end to the practice a year later. Number four, the Hubble Space Telescope launch. They needed something to get back into the game and Hubble was sort of that big shining star. This was a big space telescope and we're gonna put this thing into orbit and it's going to look at black holes, it's gonna figure out where the universe came from. We built telescopes on Earth to take a closer look at the heavens, yet for all that we can see here, it pales in comparison to what the Hubble Space Telescope has shown us. This is one of the deepest optical images of the universe ever taken. Launched in 1990, Hubble is the only telescope that was designed to be maintained exclusively from outer space. Since it lies above the Earth's atmosphere, it's able to detect other waves of light such as ultraviolet and infrared, which isn't as easily accomplished with terrestrial-based telescopes. I want to wish Hubble its own set of adventures, and with the new instruments we've installed, that it may unlock further mysteries of the universe. Hubble has since sent back countless images of distant galaxies, nebulas, and other planets, previously beyond the reach of human perception. Number three, the euro is adopted. The European Union was designed to allow the free exchange of people and goods among its members. From this point, each individual country had their own currency set against one euro. This made it much easier for, say, people in Germany to live and work in France. Yet, despite being part of the same union, many of these countries still had their own currency. Enter the Euro. The negotiations in the lead up to the launch were complex. National debt was one sticking point. In the end, member states agreed to limit it to 60% of GDP. That's laid out in the Maastricht Treaty. Officially launched in 1999, the notes and coins for the new currency were introduced into circulation in 2002. Over the years, eight more countries joined the club. Initially, 11 different currencies were replaced, including the German mark, the Italian lira, and the French franc. Today, the euro has replaced 22 different currencies within the union. Number two, the World Health Organization changes tune. The last few decades have seen an enormous shift in the attitudes towards both gender identity and sexual orientation. I just went to a wedding of a friend of mine who happens to be gay. Uh, because somebody doesn't think the way I do, doesn't mean that I can't care about them or I can't love them. Wow, a gay wedding just got applause at a Republican debate. 
Add that to the list of things that would have been unthinkable in 2004. For many years, anyone who saw themselves as being different from societal norms was considered to be mentally ill or suffering from some other type of sickness. In fact, the World Health Organization once listed homosexuality under their International Classification of Diseases. In 1990, the 43rd World Health Assembly endorsed a decision to have homosexuality permanently removed from the list. The act of a single line removal was administrationally simple, but monumental in its effect. It told the world that such a large organization had switched its perspective on sexual orientation and that others should follow suit. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Ireland Ends Ban on Divorce In a world where the vast majority of cultures subscribe to the idea of marriage, it's not uncommon to hear that they don't all work out. For better or worse, divorce is all too common. That is, unless you were living in Ireland prior to June of 1996. Before then, divorce in Ireland was actually illegal. Couples could legally separate, but an actual divorce went against the Constitution of Ireland, which was adopted in 1937. A referendum was held in November of 1995 and won by a nail-biting margin of 50.3 over 49.7% of votes. The Prime Minister was clearly delighted but also mindful of the sizable vote against. There are many valid arguments and valid concerns on both sides of this issue and at this stage, the decision having been made, it is time for us to come together behind a positive agenda. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.